It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi, for the last two days we have been working on a very complicated rescue. This is extreme. A dog with two broken legs left without any treatment and without any painkillers for 10 days. We have traveled around the country to get her. Have a look. We have called her Bonita. Buenas, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo Ahí con cuidado, ¿vale? Igualmente. Vale. Hasta que le ha pasado, lo que ha tenido ha sido mucho miedo. Entonces, eh, persona que le iba a tocar, tiraba a boca. Pero es una perra buenísima, lo que pasa que ahora está con dolor y pasa eso. Two broken legs, 10 days without treatment, 10 days without painkillers. The pain that this dog has suffered is beyond comprehension. She's now at a hospital, we are starting treatment, we have identified bacteria, so we have to treat that, and then she's gonna be operated. This is gonna be a very complicated surgery because the two front legs are, are one of them is luxated and the other one is broken, and they both need uh, very complicated surgeries. I need to ask for your help. Please donate, help me save Bonita. Thank you. Hi, 
This is an update on yesterday's video, the rescue of Bonita. Bonita is a dog that has arrived to us with two broken front legs. This is clearly an extreme case. It's not only one fracture, it's two, plus the bones are, are exposed because there are injuries on the skin, there are bacteria, I and mean, it's a very complex case. We have driven over a thousand miles to get her. This was only possible because that sweet old lady, Linda, drove all the way from Sevilla, halfway to the country, to bring her to us and then my brother and Sergio drove all the way to the hospital where, where she is hospitalized right now. Bien, ha venido tranquila. Sí, está tranquila. Lleva tramadol pinchada para sí. hacer el viaje sí. lo más tranquilo posible. Es muy buena, ¿eh? Ya, ahora es Pero poquito... ahora mismo ella piensa que el que la va a tocar claro. le va a hacer daño. Now, many of you have been asking some questions and I'm here to answer them today. The first one is, how did it happen? How could she break the legs in such a way? How did they do this to her? Trata como apoya la pobreza, ¿eh? Se busca la vida para estar sentada. Se sienta con las patas de atrás para no tocar el suelo, ¿sabes? ¿Tú crees que 10 días así hay derecho? We didn't show it in the, in, the, in the video because there was no footage of this, but Bonita used to live in the roof of a home. She was always there sun, wind, storms, and this is what happened the other day. There was a big storm in Sevilla, she got really scared and she just jumped out of the roof. Two broken legs, unbelievable. So the owner just took her home, they were like, well, I don't know, it seems like she broke something. They took her to the vet, the vet put a bit of bandage and they just left her there. I mean. I think they, they thought of bandage like if it was some kind of plaster or something, but obviously it didn't help at all. Plus there were some injuries and the thing got infected and the poor dog has suffered for 10 days without any kind of sedation or painkillers or nothing. Dog living on the flat roof of a house, jumped off 10 days ago. And these bandages, we think have been on there for 10 days. She's very, very distressed and obviously in a lot of pain. And that explains what follows next. Other people have asked, how come she was wearing a muzzle? I mean, why didn't you take the muzzle out so she could breathe during the, during the journey? Let me explain. After 10 days in absolute excruciating pain, every time the people touch her, imagine the pain that they cause. So right now, Bonita, whenever you touch her, she snaps at you. We had to do this journey in a safe way. We had to do it in a way that neither my brother, neither Linda, neither Sergio would be get beaten. And when she arrived to the hospital, she wouldn't bite anybody. I mean, just think about it. So much pain. True. During the trip, she's been sedated. I mean, not sedated, but there were painkillers administered. She was on Buprex. So she basically didn't feel any pain at all. But the discomfort is there and, uh, and we had to protect ourselves. So this is why she was wearing a muzzle. Now, you will notice that in our videos, we barely ever use muzzles. I mean, we don't like them. I mean, they, they don't look good on video. It shows the animal, you know, showing discomfort. But in this case, it was necessary. And then finally, there was a moment in the video where Bonita jumps out of the cage and she falls on the floor. No, 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 of course, there's always someone very quickly to say, oh, but you guys don't know how to handle dogs, and Jairo, he doesn't know nothing, and the dog fell on her. <sighs> Again, let me explain. After such a long trip, she was in the cage. My brother just opened the thing from the top to make it more comfortable for her to get out of the box, and she just jumped. He didn't even have the chance or the, the I mean, it was a split second. She just jumped out of the box and she did everything she could not to touch the floor with her two front paws because they are broken. Imagine how painful that is. So she, this is why she fell on her shoulder. Now, this looked 
bad on the video, obviously, clearly. But look, these videos are not prepared. We we are we're dealing with whatever we have. I mean, uh, these are really unforeseen circumstances, and sometimes we have to act with uh, you know at the spur of the moment. I mean, I'm pretty quick, and I make mistakes. Jairo made a mistake yesterday. He wasn't quick enough to hold her from the chest, but also please remember that she was snapping and uh, she was uh, she was very uncomfortable. So this is Bonita. This is Bonita's arrival to the to the hospital. Uh, just have a look at this. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleva así con las patas? Diez días. Diez días. ¿Está con medicación ahora? Sí. ¿Algo metroidazol? Sí, puede ser. Metroidazol. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Para el viaje. Creo que ha sido esta mañana. Cuando se lo han pinchado. Ya, ya lo sé. Pobre. <risa> <risa> Vale, estaba mirando a ver si tenía sensibilidad, vale, sí, importante, y ahora viene mi compañera porque tendremos que sedarla un poquito para poder sacarle sangre sí. y, y hacer unas placas que nos ha pedido el traumatólogo para ver exactamente las mediciones vale. ¿vale? y cómo están las, las patitas. Vale. Vale. Acojona. Un poquito de miedo, pero nada más. Tu corazón va muy bien. ¿Sí? Hola. Y tus dientes también. Vamos a sedar un poquitito, ¿vale? Uh -huh. También para limpiarle bien las heridas que tiene ahí las manitas y poder... ¡Ay! ¡Uy! ¡Uy! uy, uy. ¿Qué? ¿Me has entendido? ¿Cómo me haces eso? ¡Me lo he hecho A mí no me seda nada. Pues mira, te voy a pues... sedar. ¿Qué te parece? A mí no me muerde nadie. Yo soy así muy buena, pero ojo, ¿eh? Me fumo la leche. So Bonita is at the hospital, she's stable now, she doesn't feel pain, she's on Buprex. We, right now we have to deal with the infection that she has on the bones. When she fell and she broke her legs, the bones stuck out through the skin and through there there were bacteria that entered. Now it's very important that we deal with that bacteria before operating. If we operate right now, the, the plates and whatever we do there is not going to work. So we have to deal with the infection. This is always the biggest challenge when you have an open fracture. So she's now at the hospital, we're dealing with that, and as soon as they give us the go ahead, we'll go and we'll do the surgeries. Two complex surgeries, but we're very hopeful that it's gonna work. So guys, this is Bonita. She's at the hospital. She's had a shitty, terrible life, living on the roof of a home and being left there to fend for herself. In the end, she jumped out of the roof, and this is how she ended up. Terrible. I'm here to coordinate this rescue, I'm here to coordinate the treatment, and I'm here to ask for your help. Please have a look at that face. She's so beautiful. She has a beautiful life ahead of her. But without you, she has nothing. Please donate. Help me save Bonita.
Hi, this is an update about Bonita, the dog that we rescued in Sevilla with two broken legs. For the last couple of days, I've been telling you her story. You saw, you saw her video being transported all the way back from Sevilla across Spain. We took her to the clinic, we stabilized her. The arrival to the clinic was as traumatic as you can imagine for a dog with two broken legs. And uh, since then she's been stable and they're already working on her. Today I want to show you how she's being treated at the, at the hospital. Today I want to show you uh, the treatments that they're doing. Um, you're going to see, well, just have a look at this. This is Bonita. La despierta. Está sedada y te sale con cuentagotas, hija mía. Pero ¿qué tal? Muy bien, estoy aquí en el laboratorio procesando la sangre de la perita de Chadok y ahora le viene la marina con flacas y a tope estamos. Un poquito de anemia, sí. 5, 6, 7, vale, voy a hacer la radiografía. Un poquito de peña. Primero voy a hacer el test de Leismania, ¿vale? Entonces pongo dos botas de muestra. Aquí se ve menos, uh -huh. pero bueno, sí que veo. Que está lo que ¿Es la hay. misma pata? Sí, esta es la misma. Y luego tienes la izquierda. Está al revés, ¿vale? La muñeca está aquí. Uh -huh. Pero no habéis puesto las rapitas. Esas pues rapas están haciendo algo. ¿eh? Para la herida. Ah, vale. La herida de la piel, ¿ves? Uh -huh. Algo, eso no hace. Bueno, voy a ponérselo así porque esto está... ¡Ay, por Dios! Voy a poner la férula por debajo para que no flexione, pero es que esto no se puede hacer mucho más. Lo que me preocupa es esto, ¿no? Ya, eso sí. Controlar la... Hay osemilitis. Me pusieron dos grapas y hago. Supongo que tendría alguna herida o algo, ¿no? Y dijeron... Y pasado un tiempo, habrá que plantearla. Pero mínimo 15 días. ¿no? Claro, está claro. claro. Perfecto. De todas formas, esto se lo cambiaremos. Este fin de, ¿vale? Solamente para que ahora cuando se despierte esté un poco más a gusto, porque si no, la pobre mía... A ver, te vamos a poner un poquito de esto. Te vendamos los espichecitos. Qué rica la, la mía. 
Espera, espera, espera. Suspira, hija. El Carprox y el metro. Vale. Bonita is super sweet and even if she's still very much terrified because of her ordeal, um, I think once she's operated, I think once she can walk normally and she doesn't feel any pain, she's gonna be the most delightful, delightful, delightful dog. She really is sweet, but uh, put yourself in her shoes, two broken legs, 10 days without any kind of treatment or nothing. Just pure pain, just pure pain. In the video today, you've seen the x-rays that we did, you've seen the magnitude of the fractures and the luxation, and you can see what we're facing here. As I said yesterday, Bonita is a beautiful dog and deserves our help. And even if she was ugly anyway, she will be a dog that requires our help. Please, if you can, donate, help us save her. come to the hospital to see how Bonita is doing. When she arrived here she was in a lot of pain. She had been 10 days with two broken legs and when she arrived here we started treating her painkillers and she's in a much better shape. But today I want to see how she's doing. I want to see how the, the results from the lab are coming out. I want to see the bacteria. How are we dealing with this and when can we operate? Her? That's very important. I want to see this, these bones fixed and I want her to see her running again. So let's see how it goes. Come. Pasar, pasar. Sí. Let's go. Pues mañana vamos a tranquilo, Juana. Mañana. Sí. Ya tenemos todo el material y todo. No, ahora lo tiene muy estable. Come bien y está. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás, eh? Vale, vale, vale. Sí. Pobrecita, es que claro. La pata que tiene la infección, que tiene la osteomelitis, esa la haremos en 15 días. Vale. Vale. ¿Quieres salir a dar una bienvenida? ¿Quieres salir? Ayer, Algo. Ayer la tuvimos que, para cambiar los ventajas, nos cuesta dormirla. Hay que dormirla. Es que si no se pone claro, no, lo pasa muy mal. Pasa mal. No queremos estrés. No, no, ni no, para no. ella ni para nosotros. No, claro, claro. Entonces la dejamos torrada con un poquito de propofol. La skin es mucho mejor, los antibióticos están funcionando. She's ready to have the first surgery. It's going to be an arthrodesis. And, uh, and then the other leg will be fixed in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, it's good news. It's good news. She's, she's much better, much better. But still a bit reluctant because whenever you touch her, she feels pain. But she's much better. Sergio. Yeah. Yeah. No. No la saco porque sí no, que no. nos planta la cara. Claro. ¿Cómo se hace pipí y eso? Ah, muy bien, le vamos cambiando ¿Lo las matitas y todo eso. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sabes que se tiró del balcón? Oh, me, lo, me lo contaron, me lo, me lo contaron. Bueno, os te digo vale, vale. WhatsApp sí. a la hora que te dejaré para que me Vale, perfecto. Vale, vale. So you've seen her. Her face is not one of terror and pain anymore. It's more one of patience and waiting to know we need to see what's going to happen. 
she's there, she's on the, on the, on the cage, uh, she's relaxed, she's on Buprex, pain medication, she doesn't feel pain anymore, she's obviously scared, and, and we're gonna save her. Tomorrow, we're gonna go into surgery, we're gonna fix one of her legs, it's gonna be an arthrodesis, which is a very complex surgery because it involves a lot of screws and plates, and her leg will be fixed in position. But that's the right one. That's the, that's the one that we have to do today, tomorrow. And then uh, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna operate the other leg that at the moment is receiving uh, medication for a skin infection that has led to osteolysis. The bone is be, was being affected by infection created by a bacteria and she's being treated. So tomorrow, first surgery, this is gonna happen in two steps. One surgery tomorrow, second one in two weeks this is gonna happen i'm very optimistic but i need your help please if you can donate help me save bonita cannot do it without you please donate help me help her run again thank you If you follow our channel closely, you know that last week we rescued a dog in a terrible, terrible position. We call her Bonita. Bonita was, was kept living on a roof on a property in Seville. One day, under a massive storm, uh, the dog got scared and jumped out of the roof. Result, two broken legs, the two front legs. The family didn't want to do anything. They wanted to euthanize her, but they were not sure, blah, blah, blah. So they kept her, or they, they put up two bandages and they kept her like this for 10 days without any treatment, without any painkillers, nothing. As a result, uh, there was infection, the dog suffered enormously, and finally, they allow us to, to do something. So we took her, brought, we brought her to our hospital over here in Valencia, and we started treatment. It's been, she's been on painkillers and, and heavy, basically, pain medication for, for the last four days until finally, on Saturday, we went into surgery. I'm gonna show you the actual surgery. Because of uh, YouTube's regulations, I'm gonna have to blur everything, or most of it. If you wanna see the surgery raw, without any kind of editing or blurring, you can watch it on our Patreon channel, okay? Right, so, it was a massive surgery. It lasted over three hours. Sergio recorded it, he's gonna make it shorter. You're gonna see the complication of a surgery like this. Get ready, bonita surgery. <laughs> Tranquila, bonita, si te vamos a ayudar. Voy tú, ay, 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 fila, me agua. Una tierra, una aguja. La fiera, eh, mordiendo la correa. 
La Mari que la va a parir. Vamos a ponerle un bozal. El angelito durmiendo. Eso se lo quitamos ya. Sí que lo tienes experto, pero como acero. Ay, mire para acá, sí, Antonia. Necesitamos coger eh, biopsia vale. de la pala de acá. Porque si está infectado no se puede no poner. No se puede poner nada, claro. No, no se, se puede, puede poner la placa. Mm. Vale, entonces hay que esperar un cultivo negativo Uf. para poder Uf. ponerlo. ¿Cuál vamos a intervenir? Es esta, esta. la que vais a intervenir. Vale. Esta ya que. A la derecha. Ya está. Perfecto. Que despliegue, oye, de cosas. Para una cosita tan pequeña, imagínate tú la que vamos a liar. Tienes que poner el forajete este que queda en el centro es el sí. que van a el por radial. despertando y me la llevo ya a su jaula. ¿Su jaula es esta de aquí? ¿Esta de aquí? Ah, vale, vale. Me cambiado de suite. Qué pobrecita, ¿dónde es? La que tiene la manta. Me 
tendríamos que ponérselas. Pero bueno, vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacerlo todo. Ya no da miedo con el bozal. <laughs> It was a three hour surgery. Three hours. They put a special plate built especially for this surgery. They also had to take some bone matter from the back in order to increase the chances of new bone being uh, being formed. As I said, this is a, this was going to be very complicated. Arthrodesis basically fixes the joint in place, so she won't be able to use the joint anymore. But she will have enough stability and strength, and and it's going to be it's going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. So Sergio recorded the three hour surgery. We made a reduction and, uh, and she was basically waking up, starting to waking up. They told us over the weekend that she's doing very well, starting to step up on, on that leg and we're very confident that she's gonna be fine. What I've shown you is the blurred, is the censored uh, surgery. If you wanna see the full surgery without any censorship, just please come over to my Patreon support group. It's, uh, it's uploaded there. For, for all of you to, to see. So guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the help you've given uh, to Bonita's surgery. There's still another surgery to go in about a week or so. And in the meantime, Bonita is gonna be recovering and I'll be, I'll be telling you more about her and, and her, her recovery and her steps moving forward. Once again, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your help. Without you, none of this will be possible. Good morning, Victor here, Let's Adopt International, your favorite animal rescue channel, animal rescue team. We're now heading to the clinic to see how Bonita is doing. For those of you that are new, Bonita is a dog that we rescued three weeks ago. Um, it was an emergency call, they asked for my help. A dog had jumped from a roof of a property. Apparently the dog was living there, it was always there and in a, in a stormy night she got desperate and she jumped out of the roof. Result, she broke her two front legs. Terrible injuries, terrible fractures. Two surgeries. So we took the dog, we went to pick him up. He went from Sevilla from the south to Valencia where we are and, uh, and we, we basically put her in hospital. Now what is really terrible is that this dog was uh, deprived, uh, never gave him any any treatment, any painkillers, any any pain management drugs. So she spent 10 days in absolute excruciating pain without being able to use her legs at all. Every time she stepped on them, wow, it was terrible. So at the beginning, whenever you try to touch her, she will bite you. I mean, it was really, really, really difficult to handle her. So we kept her at the hospital for a few days, gave her antibiotics, sedation, I mean, pain, pain, pain management drugs, and, uh, and we operated her. It was a complicated surgery, lasted nearly four hours, uh, and we uploaded it here so you guys could see. The result, brilliant. No more pain in that leg. She, she started stepping on it right away, and it's basically been a great change. But we haven't seen her for the last four or five days. So today we're going to see how she's doing and we're going to see how things are prepping up for, for the coming surgery. Come with me. This is the longest tunnel ever. I'm coming out. Okay, now, yeah. So come with us and we're going to show you how Bonita's doing and we're going to tell you more about the coming surgery. Okay? All right. Come on, let's go. Let's see how Bonita is doing. 
¿Cómo está? Cuidado, cuidado, Sergio, no te atropellen. Hola. Buenos días. Buenas. ¿Cómo estáis? ¿Qué tal? Tiene una mala leche, mira. Sí que teniendo no, estamos, estamos marcados todos, todos. Sí, no. Ahora tenemos la técnica de la manta, le ponemos una manta encima para poderla manejar de esas gordas. Le ponemos la manta y con eso la manejamos. Pero va bien, ¿eh? Va bien. Sí, 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 sí muy bien. Hola. ¿Cómo estáis? Pues mira, aquí Hola. 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 A ver, ¿toda mía? Bonita, bonita, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Va, Iba, que tú eres el siguiente. Cállate, Isidor. Déjame en paz. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Eh? Uy. Espera, ¿cómo estás? Está de mal humor. <risa> bonita, bonita, a ver aquí. Uy, uy, uy. Está haciendo los dientes. Sí, está bien. Vale. Guten Morgen. Si se escucha, Isidor, sería buenísimo para el vídeo. Si tenemos que tener una imagen de ella mordiéndote. ¿Eh? Ah, pues lo, lo provocamos. Ahora me pongo los guantes. <risa> Sin guantes. <risa> la técnica de la manta. Esa es la mejor técnica de sí. todas. Es muy divertida. No, 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 no. Queremos, estamos a nada ya de operar la otra. Sí. Oye, cómo camina. ¿Has visto qué bien camina? Sí, sí. No, si el otro día ya dimos un paseo con ella sí, y sí. no veas. ¿Estoy bien tú? Acaba de salir. Acaba de entrar. ¿Qué vendaje? Sí, el otro vendaje está por aquí. ¿Cómo estáis? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va la vida? Hola, amiguita. Hola, ¿te acuerdas de mí? Sí. Claro. Ah. ¿Has visto que en el punto de apoyo? Sí, apoya muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Sí, sí, sí. Sergio se tragó toda la operación. Uh -huh. <risa> Ay. Ay. Oh, Dios, apoya muy bien. Apoya fenomenal. Esto es siempre sí, sí, sí. Ah. Come, pero con muchísima calor. Claro, no, seguramente el antibiótico está, sí. está jodiendo un poquito el estómago, pero bueno. ¿Le, ¿Le damos un pequeño paseito? Sí, pues venga. Very well. I love the way she steps on the on the leg. Very natural, and she feels no pain whatsoever. She's doing really great. Now we need to fix the other leg. It's going to happen next week. But it's looking good. Look at this. ¿Cómo se nota que esa que tiene fastidiada todavía? Sí, claro. La que no quiere apoyar. Claro. Es un nervio, ¿eh? ¿Te perdiste? Sí, no para quieta. Venga, va. Ah. 
¿Qué os la traemos? Ven. ¿La veo yo? Sí. Ah, oh, pues sí. Parte la del, del pasito. Ahí estaba más de la fada, ¿eh? Más bien. Sí. Vamos, pues. Despacito, cariño. Mira, pues pone el pate. Ya sé. Mira, así la manita. Mira. Qué rico. Sí, mira, deja subir entre las como te sigue. ¿no? Muy bien. Ah, pues tenía hambre, ¿eh? Mm. Qué graciosa como cuando con el cono. <laughs> Se pone ahí. Thank you very much. We're really happy. Uh, in a few days we will operate the other leg. We're really, really happy. They've done a fantastic job. And, and let's see how it goes. Thanks a lot. Thanks. As always. And I'll see you next week. Okay? See you next week. All right. Take care, man. Thanks. Let's go. When I started this rescue group, my intention was to create a network so that we will be able to help animals like Bonita. Animals that had been rejected by everybody else that were considered too complicated or too costly to help. And that's what we did. And this is why 15 years later and thousands of animals later, we're still here fighting for Bonita. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your support and your help. And don't forget that we just cannot do this without you. So please, if you can donate, help us save Bonita, please join me on my support group on Patreon. I really need you then. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. For the last two weeks, everyone that comes to this channel has been glued to the screen wanting to know about what happened to Bonita. Bonita is this dog that we rescued in the south of Spain, in Seville, with two broken legs. How did that happen? Well, it turns out that Bonita wasn't living with a normal family. She was living with some idiots that kept her on the roof of the house, on the, on the terrace, on top. So she was isolated. She was living in complete isolation away from the family. She was living there under the sun, under the rain, until about two weeks ago, there was a massive storm in Seville. The poor dog got terrified and she tried to escape by running and jumping from the roof, from the terrace onto the floor. So, result, two broken legs. What did the family do? Well, they took her to the vet and they said, just put some bandage and it will be okay. She's gonna heal. Of course, she wouldn't heal. A normal bandage wouldn't give her any stability and a bandage doesn't work as a cast. So after 10 days of keeping the dog at home, seeing her suffer, they realized, well, this is not working. You cannot touch the dog. I mean, she's terrified. Uh, so they took it to the vet to be euthanized. At that point, the vet called us and said, look, we have a dog here with two broken legs. Please help us because this dog don't, this doesn't deserve to die. So we went there, we took her. We brought her to our hospital over here in Valencia. And the first thing I noticed was how terrified she was. She was already on pain medication, she was on Buprex, so she wasn't feeling any pain, but still, whenever you went to touch her, she would try to bite you. For 10 days, she had been conditioned so that whenever a person tried to touch her, it would be horrible pain for her. So, okay, we started treatment. We started antibiotic treatment, and we started planning the first surgery. The first surgery took place this weekend on Saturday and we published it here and it was everyone could see what we did for her. Now, today I'm going to show you how Bonita looks today and I tell you, this is beautiful. The transformation is just unbelievable. Bonita has gone from being a terrified, scared dog to what you're about to see now. Have a look at this. This is how Bonita looks today. Hola. Uy, te pino, te levantes. Sergio. Sí, 
Ya que estoy. Que no lo he hecho en mi caso, tío, lo siento. ¿Cómo se levanta esta perrilla, no? ¿Dónde va esta perrilla? Pero esta perrita... ¡Ay, oh, sí! Oye. Pero bueno... <risa> ¡Qué bien te veo! Está, está deseando pasear, ¿eh? ¡Mira! ¡Hola! <risa> ¡Bonita! ¿Qué tal esa bonita? Oye, ven aquí ahora mismo. ¡Hola! ¿Vamos a la calle? Uy, acaba de hacer un pipi ahí enorme. ¿Quieres ir a la calle? ¿Vamos? ¿Quieres pasear en la calle? Vamos a la calle, vamos. Ah. Bonita. Voy a ver si sobre la mierda. Y la, mi chica guapa. La cambio a la cara, eh. Y mi chica guapa. Esa carita, mi bicho. Pero además se deja acariciar y todo. ¿Ves? Le ha cambiado el carácter. Le ha cambiado el carácter total. La pobrecita era puro dolor y, y malestar. Uh -huh. ¿eh? Es que, ¿cómo están? Ya. Ay. ¿Quieres que se lo ponga yo? Mira, ya, ya, ya polla, ¿eh? Lo operaba. Polla. Mira, mira, mira. Esperamos para allá. Y vamos a ir un segundito a la calle a ver si no hace sus cosas. Muy bien. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal aquí? Mira, sí. Vamos a la calle, ¿vale? Vale. Vamos, bonita, vamos. Mira. Mira, vamos, cariño. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene? Qué bien. Qué bien. ¿Quién la viste y quién la ve? Eh? Sí. Vamos de paseo, ¿eh? Nos hemos escapado de la clínica. <risa> Qué carilla que Cuidado, tiene. no te caigas. Vale, mira ahí. ¿eh? Uh -huh. ¡Qué bien, mi chica! Ahí mejor, es que aquí apoya mucho mejor con la gravilla, ¿sabes? Claro. Mírala, quiere correr, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Con el rabo para arriba. ¡Qué bien, mi chica! ¡Mírala, mírala! Está feliz, ¿eh? Sí, sí. En una cara de pletórica tiene. Mucho cambio rápidamente. Sí. Mira. Mira, Ponsa, mira, pero sí corre la tierra. Y necesitamos que no corre. ¿La ves? Sí, sí. Mira, vamos. Muy bien. Pero ahora ya te puedes sentar normal, ¿eh? No a los unicatos. tiene eso, ¿no? Sí, sí. ¿Quién pudiera? Espera, que no llega la pobre. Ven aquí, ven. Hola, ¿qué tienes, 
sueño. Qué bueno. Vale, sí, sí, claro. Gracias por el paseíto, ¿eh? Sí. So that was the result of the first surgery. So Bonita from being terrified, you couldn't touch her. I mean, I couldn't even touch her. She tried to bite me. Now she's gone. Now that there is no pain anymore and she's comfortable with that leg, she approaches you. She tries to play with you. She walks so happy. Look at her tail. Just look at her face of excitement. I mean, everything is changing. Do you see? That's absolutely beautiful. And everything is changing because of you. Now, in about a week, we have to do another surgery, the other leg, another complicated surgery. It's gonna be quite difficult and quite traumatic, but it's okay, we're gonna fix this. Bonita is on her way to have a beautiful life, I promise you. And we're showing you here this complete transformation life. Um, I always say, nothing happens without you. The viewers of this channel are not just normal viewers, they're just part of the team. You guys, without you, this, this thing just wouldn't happen. Without you, Bonita will still be, well, I was gonna say she will still be in that terrace, but no, she will, she will be dead. She will be long dead. It was because of you that, we, that we, we felt safe, that we could take a case like this. It was because of you, because of your donations, because you're here, that we know we can undertake cases like this and even more difficult ones. So, thank you very much for being here. Please donate. Stop being just a spectator. Just come on board, donate. Help me continue saving lives. Help me continue taking care of Bonita moving forward. We still have to go, we still have to do another surgery. So please join us, donate. Please join me for my support group on Patreon. Thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow. This is a quick video, a fundraiser to try to raise funds for the surgery of a dog with two broken legs. Bonita was rescued last month. After her spending her entire life living in the roof of a home, one night she got scared with a massive storm and she jumped out of the roof. She jumped to her death. Luckily, she didn't die. She was taken to the vet and over there they say that it was gonna be too difficult, it was, gonna, it was gonna need surgeries, and the family didn't wanna do anything. She wasn't given any painkillers, nothing. She was sent home with a bandage. Fíjate cómo apoya la pobreza, eh. Se busca la vida para estar sentada. Se sienta con las patas de atrás para no tocar el suelo, ¿sabes? ¿Tú crees que 10 días así hay derecho? During these days, 10 days without any painkillers, any treatment, nothing. Bonita went crazy with pain. Finally, they say that they were gonna euthanize her because there was no solution. At that point, they contacted us. We took her to the hospital. We stabilized her. We gave her painkillers to basically to sleep an elephant. There's a stuff right After a few days, she was operated from one of her legs and the operation was a success. Bonita's first leg was fixed and is operated and she's doing great. But now it's time to fix the second leg. Bonita is ready for surgery. She's going to be operated tomorrow evening. This is a heartbreaking story, but a story that we can turn around together. This is beautiful. This dog deserved a better life and together we can give it to her. Bonita is ready for surgery. Surgery is gonna take place tomorrow evening. This is our chance to turn around a dog that had lost everything and that now stands to have a beautiful new life. But for that, I need your help. Please donate. Help me save Bonita.
with the fire squad. You don't be upset with it. Hi. Last night we were supposed to operate Bonita uh, with second surgery. But last afternoon I got a call from the surgeon, from Constant. He told me that he wished to delay the surgery for another week. I, I said, why do you want to do that? Is there any special reason? And he said that he was, comf he was more comfortable uh, giving a bit more time for the first surgery to set, for the bone to... Uh, to set, to, to, to stabilize itself, to heal properly. And I said, look, is there any, any reason to worry? He said, not at all, not at all. But before going into another surgery that she's gonna need the stability for that leg, I'd rather wait a bit longer until the other leg is stronger. So I said, okay, fine. We postpone the surgery for a few days, but tomorrow morning I go to the hospital and and let's see. I want to see I want to see how she's doing, and uh, and I want to have an explanation from you directly. So here we are. We're gonna see now Bonita, the surgeon Constant, and let's see how it goes. Come on, come with me. Lo único que está un poquito inflamada. Mira, mira, se la está, mira, está, se la está haciendo ahí una fístula. Una, sí, no, es una pequeña ulcerita, sí, una ulcerita. ¿eh? pero no, es, es mínimo, es decir, eso con buenas curas y tal, debería de ir bien, eso es básicamente por autolesión, vale, porque sí. el animalito empieza a lamerse, sí. se irrita la piel y se va levantando. A ver, lo bien hecho es esperar a que esto se resuelva uh -huh. y quede en buenas condiciones porque ya es un dolor de cabeza menos, uh -huh. ya nos centramos en la otra. Entonces, eh, nada, simplemente es esperar a que cure bien esa patita y yo entiendo que en dos semanas estará todo perfecto para poder eh, abordar la otra. Vale, ¿podemos sacar alguna de, las, de la consulta para poder firmarlo bien? Sí, 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 claro. Conforme vaya pasando el tiempo, las complicaciones bajan drásticamente. Vale. A ver, ¿cómo se le puede levantar fácil? Eh, cuidado, ¿eh? Sí. A veces te deja acariciar, como hizo con Sergio, con mucha habilidad ¿Sí? y no hay ningún problema. Pero otras veces, ayer tenía más talante, ayer por la tarde. Sí. Vale, vale, vale. Si no la tenemos aquí. ¿Es conmigo? Sí. ¿Eh? Y esta ya la tengo cicatrizada. Uy, 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 Dios mío. Es que es muy Joder, qué rapidez. Anoche le quité todos los puntos ya. El problema es que, ¿sabes qué hizo? En un momento dado, se quitó la campana y se mordió sí. la herida. Imagínate tú. Claro. Ya, ya, ya. Tenemos que esperar a que esté perfecta la Vale. Ahora queremos vale. hacer una nueva placa de comprobación. Sí. Ok, so now I understand. I've spoken to Constant and he explained to me that the first surgery is going very well. The bone is doing very well and everything. But she has, last night, she, uh, she basically they removed the collar for a few minutes because they were doing some treatment and she licked and she beat, she beat the scar tissue. Now, this is not a big problem, but this could mean a problem in the evolution of the scar in coming days. So they want, they want that to be okay, because the moment she's operated from the other leg, she's going to be using both legs and stepping on both. And there's gonna be more pressure as well going into the other leg. So they don't want that. It's a delicate balance between the healing of the skin and the healing of the bone. And this is why we have decided to postpone the surgery for 10 days, a few more days. We'll see how, how the skin on the other leg goes. In the meantime, she's okay. She's hating the treatment. Every time that they need to change the bandage or, you know, treat the skin, they have to sedate her a little bit. And she's not happy with this. And I understand. How are you doing, Bonita? Eh? You okay? She's not happy. She's not happy. Bueno, ¿Qué tal, Bonita? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Estás bien? ¿Eh? ¿Sí? Bueno. So, we're going to wait a few more days uh, for, for her surgery. Um, I wish we could have done it yesterday. 
I really want it to be done yesterday. But, uh, but healing from trauma surgeries is a tricky thing. So because there's, all, because there's not only, you don't only have to consider the healing of the bone, but also the healing of the skin. And the healing of the bone is, is conditioned by the healing of the skin. Complicated. So we're gonna wait a bit. She's, a, she's pissed off, pissed off with this situation. But anyway, what can we do? ¿Qué podemos hacer, bonita? No te fares conmigo. Don't be upset with me. Don't be upset with me. You're gonna be fine. I promise you. She's gonna be fine. Yeah. Ya, ¿eh? ¿Me puedo hacer una sesión de láser ahora? Sí, claro. So we're on the way home. Um, as you've seen, she's fine. We performed the, we cleaned the injury, and it looks okay. It looks good. But still, we wanna be, we wanna be on the cautious side, and wait a few more days 
until, until we're completely sure that that little injury doesn't create any trouble. Uh, in 10 days, 12 days, something like this, we will be operating her for now. Thank you very much to those that have helped. Uh, we will be operating her as soon as the injury is, uh, is more clear. Yeah, we're trying to be cautious here. So, guys, thank you very much for, for having come with us to, to the clinic today. And thank you very much for being part of this rescue. Hi, today I'm here to bring up the conclusion of one of our most recent rescues. A dog that spent her entire life living in the roof of a home, on top of it, on top of the house, in the terrace, isolated, alone. Then, one stormy night, desperate, she just jumped out and nearly killed herself. Monita didn't die. Instead, she broke her two front legs. Two terrible fractures, she was taken to the vet. They put some bandage and they say, just wait and see what happens. After 10 days alone in that place with the two legs fractured, the family saw that she wasn't healing so they took her to the vet to be destroyed, euthanized. It was at that point that the vet contacted us and said, look, could you please help? This dog is not gonna make it. This dog is here to be killed. La vamos a poner aquí, que nos vea. We helped. We brought her to our clinic over here in Valencia and we started treatment. We first operated one of the legs. It was a complicated surgery. It was an over three hour surgery, an arthrodesis. It was an open fracture. There was infection in the bone. I mean, it was really tricky. After the surgery, everything was going well. At some point, she developed a small skin infection, but that was treated. And uh, Bonita's recovery has been fantastic. Really, truly fantastic. That leg is completely fixed. Now, following the protocol, we have to operate the second leg. The second leg is going to be exactly the same kind of surgery, an arthrodesis another three hour surgery. In that surgery, a big plate will be installed and the joint will be fixed in a fixed position. So she'll be able to step without feeling any pain. I predict, or I believe, well, I can't predict anything, but I believe that the results are gonna be as good with that leg as they've been with the other leg. Now, Bonita arrived to us Terrified. It was impossible to touch her. Imagine, for days and days, whenever somebody touched her, it was giving her pain. So she was snappy, she was growling at us. And even today, to a certain extent, she's very cautious. But look at the change in her character. From a scared dog, from a terrified dog, to a dog that approaches you, to a dog that wants to touch you, to a dog that wants to connect. That is beautiful. And we have achieved that so far. Now, it's time to operate the second leg. Surgery is gonna take place tomorrow. It's going to be another massive surgery and we're going to be there recording it and being part of it and bringing you inside. Surgery tomorrow. Please help me save Bonita. Please donate. Please help me take care of this surgery. I need your help. Help me save Monita. Thank you very much. Surgery tomorrow. Take care.
¿Cómo estás, Pepe? Hace falta una familia con muchísima paciencia. Hi, this morning we're coming to visit Bonita. Bonita is a dog that we rescued a month and a half ago in really terrible conditions. Two fractures, both front legs. We operated the first leg, that went okay, and she has been recovering for the last two weeks. Now it's time to go for the second surgery. Today we're coming to see how everything is going and if the surgery is ready to take place. I think next week, Monday or Tuesday, everything should be okay. We're gonna see. Hola, Tenemos a ver a la chica. Hola. Nos presento, Alex. Hola, Alex, ¿qué tal? Hola. The last time we were here, Benita was still recovering from the first surgery. And she was doing well, but there were some problems with the skin, there was a little infection, and we decided to wait for the second surgery. Now we're going to see how she's doing. I'm very hopeful that she's going to look much better, but uh, we don't know. We're going to see. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás, Peque? Está mucho mejor. ¿Ves esta pata? La pata que ella se le había infectado un poquito la herida. Y esta no le gusta la cámara. ¿Qué te ves muy bien? I can see that the injury is doing really, really well. It's completely healed, you see? So uh, now I think they're gonna sedate her to, to, to take some x-rays and we're gonna be able to see in, in more depth how, how that is going. I think surgery is gonna take place in a couple of days. But we'll see. Um, they told me that, uh, that her, character, her character has mellowed, uh, but obviously, She's still not 100% and she's camera shy. Bueno, dejamos que descanse. We're gonna let her rest for a while and then uh, we'll see the team now. Hola, hemos venido a ver a la Peque. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Esa es mi Lucía. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Me la estoy llevando a casa por ¿Sí? las noches. Así está muchísimo mejor, ¿no? Pero ahora no. Pero lo que es de actitud te parece un animal ¿no? Bueno. Pues fuera de aquí. Fuera de aquí, ¿no? Fuera de aquí. Aquí bueno. imposible manejarla. Fuera vale. de aquí me la llevo en brazos a casa. Sí, sí, sí se les deja tocar manejar las patas. Tengo vídeos, o sea, perfecto. Pero aquí. Con paciencia y con trato personal es. Es adorable. Hola, ¿qué Alex? tal? Isidor. Encantado. Ah, Nos habían hablado también de ti. Sí, no, no, es, es, <risa> la imagen es estupenda. Es muy bueno. Sí, bueno. Ese pelillo te ha gustado, ¿eh? Me encanta, ah, me encanta, me encanta. Pues se nos ha ido Sergio. Ya se ha casado. Qué pena, y... qué pena. Hoy está en Berlín. Ah, está en Berlín. Hoy está en Berlín. Sí. Sí. El lunes, si no pasa nada, tengo que ¿Lunes ¿Sí? Sí, terminamos ya. Pero tiene una actitud estupenda. Muy bien. Bueno, hoy no. Hoy bueno, no hoy es que cuando vine aquí, claro, después de estar en el chaleco. Claro, claro, claro. claro. Hola. Hola. Hay cojones de tocarla, ¿eh? Pero tú la vas a tocar. No, tú, hombre, tú eres el veterinario. Yo soy. Hola. Un... ¡Ay, ay, ay! No, 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 Manejándose, sí, 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 de verdad. Pondremos en orden la, la izquierda sí. y ya está. Haremos una nueva artrodesis sí. y soluciona. Muy ha ido bien. muy bien esta. ¿Has visto qué bien tiene la piel? Y sí, todo? sí, 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 muy bien. ¿Te ha pasado la base de cirugía? No. ¿Qué pasa? Seguramente una trombosis. Ah. Estamos investigando, le hemos hecho un TAF y estamos esperando el informe definitivo. Muy bien, Ani, cariño. Le ponemos una, una mantita para que apoye la cabeza mejor. Sí. Así para que pueda elevar un poquito más la cabeza. Perfecto. Muy chica guapa. Claro que sí. ¿Cómo estás, Peque? ¿Eh? ¿Cómo estás? No, 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 no
Sí, es muy cariñoso, ¿eh? Todo lo que tiene de grande lo tiene de cariñoso, ¿a que sí? Ya. Yeah. Estará ya más clamado. Vamos a sacarla aquí. Sí, Molly, todo... hazme un favor. Muy bien, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué te han hecho? A ver. ¿Qué? No te van a hacer nada. Ya está. Ya está. Pues hemos tenido otro también, que hemos tenido que quitar la pata. Muy bien. Ahí hemos tenido que ir a mi tira solidaria. Ay, mi chica, ¿Ya? la pobre. Mi pobre no podía ser más, más pobre. Ay, la pobre. Me parece que había un cambio. Esto era imposible, ¿eh? ¿Te acuerdas? Sí, sí. No, no, súper bien. Madre mía. Mira, ¿qué te parece lo que está haciendo Doro? Mi novio ha dicho. Esto no nos va a quedar mal. No, tiene familia, tiene familia. ¿no? <gasps> Está, sí, sí, está adoptada. Tiene una familia súper guay. Sí, sí, tiene una familia súper guay. Es... Pero, pero hay que reconocer que tiene chispa. Además, sí, ¿eh? es, no, es adorable. Yo, tiene sí, muchísimo sí, miedo y pánico y trauma. Porque, porque ver, pues, no le gustan los niños. Claro. No le gustan los niños. Porque los niños no le gustan y todo lo que le da miedo muerde. Yeah. Y muerde bien. Entonces... Yeah. Hace falta una familia con muchísima paciencia que no trabaje con castigo ni con reproches. No, 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 y los niños... Mira. ¿Qué pasa? No te van a hacer nada. No te van a hacer nada, ¿vale? No te van a hacer nada, bonita. ¿Vale? Porque cuando muerde, muerde, ¿eh? La llamamos la grapadora. Nos ha mordido a todos. Cuatro dedos de repente digo, no, 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 no
because this means that first she doesn't feel any more pain or very little and secondly that she's learning to trust people again after what happened to her it's just beautiful and it is it's so moving you know, this is the the reward that we get ah, wow next week she will be operated from the left leg and i'm very confident that everything is going to be perfect perfect i'm so happy we have changed the life of this dog i'm really so so happy guys thank you very much for being here thanks for your support and for helping us do this to change the life of a dog that has arrived in such a condition and then turn it around and give him a new life it's the most beautiful thing in life thank you to those of you that are helping thank you to those of you that are donating and my patrons without you this just wouldn't be possible We're going to operate Bonita right now. We're gonna film the surgery and I don't know, fingers crossed. It's gonna be a long one. A ser larga. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Es estupendo. Esto, 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 esto. Estupendo. Porque luego ah, se enfada. Porque no quieres que te relaciones. Claro, se enfada con ella. Entonces rompemos la. El vínculo emocional. Claro, la química. Sí, vamos a sacarla. Eso sí que lo puedo hacer. Sí, sí. Mira, mira, mira. ¿Esto? Mientras no le hagas nada sin sol. ¿Qué pasa, amor? ¿Tú? No, no que no tienes que relación de ti. No, y lo paso fatal. Lo paso muy mal. Peor que la perra, imagina. Lo, lo paso peor que ella. Hola, chicas, bonita. Mira, ¿por qué no me dan de comer estas cosas? Yo estoy sin él. Yo no voy a ¿Qué pasa? Rosa es mucho. Vamos a traer una mantita o una lámpara para que no pierda la temperatura, ¿vale? Ya está bonito. Ya. Es que parece que está dormida, pero en cualquier momento. Sí, sí. Reviso las Lo que no se va a curar es el espanto al veterinario. <risa> no, quién sabe, ¿eh? A lo mejor, con el tiempo. Elena, ¿quién me aporta este esparadrapo, hijas mías? Es que soy vaga poquito, desde luego. Te no, lo digo. Yo. Siempre que sobre antes que te falte. El color de las mucosas se vigila, la respiración un poquito, porque en el periodo de sedación hay que controlarlos, que estén en perfectas condiciones. También que no pierda temperatura, por eso le ponemos la lámpara. Pobrecita, es que entra en pánico. No es agresiva, es, es puro pánico. Cuando esté bien, yo creo que, que le va a cambiar el temperamento. Es que lo voy controlando las mucosas. Se trata de aislar la zona sucia, que no se puede limpiar 
del todo bien ¿eh? para mantener la, la sección y dejamos lo que es el, el campo quirúrgico aislado. Está sedada, ¿eh? <risa> ya está, mi amor. Luego le tendremos que poner esa toma pulita. ¿Y le vas a poner férula? Sí, una férulita. Sí. Sí, para que no sobrecarguen las dos. ¿Sabes? ¿La pasó? Vamos a hacer la artrodesis. Esto es como aparejar un barco. Dime. La insulina es ya cualificación. Cuatro mitades. Cuatro mitades. Cuatro mitades. ¿Qué hace? Sí, sí, está bien, está vale. bien. Pues cogiendo hueso, ¿no? Para... Sí, eso facilita luego la cicatrización, la formación de callo. Vale, 65 está CRI ahora, ¿eh? Sí. ¿Vale? vale. Estaba dos y medio, ¿vale? Entonces lo he bajado hasta el 1. Vale. Vale, pero con el 1 hace respiración espontánea. No, claro, sí. ¿Quién es la que vas a gastar? Vale. ¿Qué más? Hay que quitar el callo, ¿no? Que había. Hay que quitar todo el tejido fibrótico que se ha formado. Es todo fibrosis, todo tejido fibrótico. Hemos trasladado, ¿no? Cortico esponjosa. Sí. De la pala de Lilion a al carpo directamente para que ayude a formar ahí un buen callo. ¿Cómo va Alex? Está bien. Muy bien. ¿Bien? Aquí ¿Eh? estamos. Es que tenía la primera cirugía. Pensaba que me iba a marear, pero no. <risa> bueno, pues esto tiene buena pinta, ¿eh? darla es un show. Entonces esto perjudica la operación, la pata operada, la recién operada, el estrés emocional. Es un paso adelante y tres atrás. Bueno, se hace lo que se puede. Surgery has gone well, they tell me. And now, just a matter of waiting for a few days. We'll see how the skin settles and... Ha quedado centrado, ¿vale? Muy bien. Ha quedado muy bien, ahora. Ahora esperar que siga que esté bien la piel. Dos manitas. A lo mejor la han pegado. No les, les marca, a lo mejor la han pegado. Yo, ¿Quién sabe? Ah. Es, es una celebrity, ¿eh? Imagínate. Por ella, aquí en la claro, todo el mundo pregunta por ella. Claro, todo el mundo pregunta por ella. Es que es gigante esto, ¿eh? Ya, pero es que si no. 
es que se toca con el otro tía. Si puede estar así tres o cuatro días sin tocarse ya. So, surgery has gone well, and Bonita was starting to wake up when we left the hospital. Three hour surgery, very stressful at, at times, but uh, in the end the result was good. Now she's gonna have to spend two weeks in hospital, recovering, healing, the bone is gonna have to heal, the skin is gonna have to heal, we need to make sure there is no infection, and uh, anything is gonna be okay. I'm so happy. We, we save uh, a dog that uh, truly had no hope. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your commitment to this uh, rescue. And as I always do, let me invite you to become one of our donors, one of our supporters, because we need you. Because without you, nothing will ever happen. If you're watching this channel for a very long time, here's my invitation. Please join us, donate, help me save lives. Hi, I have great news. About four months ago, we rescued a dog with two broken legs. The dog had fallen from the top of a home where she was living isolated. A storm arrived one, one evening. She was there in the middle of the night, terrified, and she just jumped out. Result, she broke her two front legs. The owners took her to the vet. They put some bandage. Of course, that didn't serve for anything. I mean, that, was, that made things much worse. And, uh, and after 10 days, they decided to euthanize her. At that point, they asked for our help, and we went to pick her up. What follows next is an amazing story, not only medical, because we fixed both legs, but also we changed her character. Have a look at this. This is the story of Bonita. Buenas. Buenas. Con esto que le ha pasado, lo que ha tenido ha sido mucho miedo. Entonces, eh, persona que le iba a tocar, tiraba boca. Pero es una perra buenísima, lo que pasa es que ahora está con dolor y pasa eso. Ya está. Ya está. Mira cómo se queda para no apoyar las patas. Tu corazón va muy bien. ¿Sí? Hola. Y tus dientes también. Vamos a sacar un poquitito, ¿vale? Y también para limpiarle bien las heridas que tiene ahí las manitas y poder. ¡Ay! ¡Uy! ¡Uy! ¿Qué me has entendido? ¿Cómo me haces eso, mi novio chochona? A mí no me sepa nada. Pues mira, te voy a cerrar, ¿qué te parece? Un poquito de anemia, sí. Vale. Sí, muy bien. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Ayer la tuvimos que para cambiar los ventajas nos cuesta dormirla. Hay que dormirla. Es que si no se pone claro, no, lo pasa no, muy no, mal. No, no queremos estrés. No, no, no. Ni para ella ni para nosotros. No, claro, claro. La fiera, ¿eh? Mordiendo la correa. La madre que la va a parir. Vamos a ponerla en bozal. Qué despliegue, oye. Qué cosas. Para una cosita tan pequeña, imagínate tú la que vamos a liar. Aquí Sidoro es muy rápido y bueno con la sutura. Rápido, sí. Zapatita 
ya es otra. Mucho, eh. mucho curro, pero bueno. No, 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 pero. Está deseando pasear, ¿eh? Mira, hola. ¿Vamos a la calle? ¿Quieres pasear en la calle? Vamos a la calle, vamos. Nos hemos escapado de la clínica. <risa> <risa> Qué bien, mi chica. Mírala, mírala. Está feliz, ¿eh? Sí, sí. En una cara de pletórica, tío. Mira, mira, mira. <risa> Qué bueno. Hola. Hola, Iván, que tú eres el siguiente. Cállate, Isidor. Déjame en paz. Isidor, sería buenísimo para el vídeo si tendremos que tener una imagen de ella mordiéndote. ¿Eh? Ah, pues lo, lo provocamos. Ahora me pongo los guantes. <risa> Sin guantes. <risa> Thank you very much. We're really happy. Uh, in a few days we will operate the other leg. We're really, really happy. They've done a fantastic job. And uh, let's see how it goes. ¿Cómo estás, Peque? Está mucho mejor. ¿Qué pasa? No te van a hacer nada. No te van a hacer nada, ¿vale? No te van a hacer nada. Porque cuando muerde, muerde, ¿eh? La llamamos la grapadura. Nos ha mordido a todos. This is the first time I'm able to touch her. Es cogiendo hueso, ¿no? Para... Sí, eso facilita luego la cicatrización, la formación de callos. Pues esto tiene buena pinta, ¿eh? Sí. Ha quedado centrado, ¿vale? Muy bien. Ha quedado muy bien, la verdad. Ahora esperar que siga que bien la piel. Dos semanitas. So, both surgeries went well. We managed to fix the legs. But that was part of the challenge. Her character. She was terrified. She was biting. You couldn't touch her. Now, have a look at this. This is what has happened since Bonita left the clinic. Y después de un tiempo ya en la calle, pues ahora ya podéis ver que va más relajada, la cola está bien alta, ya no tira. Muy bien, muy, muy bien. Este primer paseo ha sido un éxito. Bonita. increíble y a bonita la veo maravillosa cuando tú digas ahora sí ahora sí vale ahora sí un poco un poco un poco un poco un poco te dejo te dejo esos dos tienen una relación sí. la ha escogido a él 
Pues mira, las mantitas, el juguete, la comida, las medicaciones, todo. Alex is Nederlands Jeep. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> For a kerstfeest. For a kerstfeest. <laughs> ¿La puedes llevar en brazos? Sí. Ella va a estar encantada en brazos. Sí. Va a estar mucho más a gusto. Pues, bueno, pues en brazos. Porque ahí se va a poner a chillar y a ladrar. No sé. Unas poquitas horas, ¿eh? Así que. <laughs> no pasa nada. No pasa nada. Me he pasado las últimas cinco noches durmiendo en el sofá para, estar, para tenerla más cómoda porque estaba que no, no sabía ni ella si quería estar en el sofá con nosotros o no, entonces me he quedado yo a dormir ahí para que estuviera más a gusto. Venga, sí. sí, vamos a casa. Bien. 26 de diciembre, Sunday, Boxing Day. We should be in bed, resting. Yesterday was a lot of fun. The kids came home, they opened all the presents. I mean, it was really, really great. But today was the perfect day to relax and recover. But instead of that, we're going on a 14-hour drive, 14-hour drive, to deliver Bonita home. Bonita was rescued a few months ago with two broken legs. One of the most complicated cases we've had recently, not only because it was a difficult surgery and we need two surgeries, but also because Bonita had a really nasty character. She was really afraid and snappy and biting. So after she left the hospital, she went to live with Thea. Thea is a vet tech at the hospital and uh, she really took care of her and took care of uh, her fears. So Bonita has changed quite a lot. She's much more friendly and she's nice. But still, today we asked Thea to come with us on this long trip to make sure that everything goes well in the family, that there's a good introduction, that Bonita doesn't bite anybody. We'll see how it goes. Ahí estamos aquí. Estamos delante del 29. Ah, mira la madre mía. Hola. Aquí. Muy bien. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Muy bien. ¿Qué tal? Igualmente. ¿Qué tal, Ale? Hola. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Ahora nos vamos a pasear. Oye, ¿todos? ¿Todos no? ¿Todos? Déjame que le dé uno a Vida. Pasa, pasa a Vida adentro. Ahora, ahora te doy. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Encantado, tío. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿Qué te han dado? ¿Qué te han dado ya? Soy grande. Mira, me la ha quitado. Le hicimos un ponchito mexicano, ¿verdad? Mi mexicanita. Tiene un poncho mexicano. Ay, ya no quedan, ahora cortamos más. Ahora cortamos más, mi reina. Le encantan los mimos. Le encantan. Entonces ella os buscará. Y ella os dará señales de. Vale, ahora quiero que me acaricies. A lo mejor ahora quiero que me cojas. No, ahora no. Mira qué hermana mayor más guapa y buena tienes. Me quito un momento la máscara. Cuando ella está incómoda, empieza a hacer el esto. Cuando veáis eso, la distraéis o lo que sea y. Ya lo días en la cocina, tú salí. ¿En serio? Sí, los días lleva en la cocina. Ya está. Madre mía, pero pues están saliendo más cosas. Mira, 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 mira. mira. Hombre, claro. 
Yo es que soy muy de... Claro, son los mejillones. Son tigres. Es todo casero, ¿eh? Yo todo, todo casero. Todo casero. Ostras, Yo no compro nada hecho. Rara. Y cocido, que ha hecho cocido. Y cocido. ¿Habéis hecho que esto y un cocido? Sí. sí. Esto, va a ser... esto es un aperitivo. Esto va a ser ah, Es normal, cariño. Es normal. Y es que a uno cuando le hacen algo malo, pues así sí. ocurre. ¿Quieres una pelota? Mira. Mira todos los juguetes que tiene. Mira, si se será por juguetes. Madre mía. Y todos los que hay por ahí tirados. Este es su favorito. Ay. 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 Mira, ¿Qué ves? Es? Mira, ya viene. Ay, venga. ¿Quieres? ¿Qué de juguetes? Venga. A la falta alguna por traer, mamá. I got nothing to worry about. Por la familia y por, por bonita. Y enhorabuena. Enhorabuena. Feliz Navidad. Igual Navidad. I got nothing to worry about. When you're by my side. ¿Cómo has hecho esto para nosotros hoy? De verdad. Hombre, de verdad. Wow. Bueno, luego, luego te enseño otra cosa. Luego sí lo tienes que grabar, ¿eh? ¿Y esto qué es? Esto es una de tarta queso? de queso. Madre mía. ¿Os gusta la tarta de queso? Sí. Esta es de mi amor. Ten cuidado que te metes la lengua Sí, hija mía. <risa> Esto es para ti. Es una chorrada, ¿vale? Lo he preparado yo. Por cuidar a bonita. ¿La has cuidado también? Hola, Elena. ¿Vale? Muchísimas gracias. Mira, mira, no es nada. Esto es para la casa grande, para que desayunen de mi parte. ¿Vale? Y esto es para la casa rosa. ¿Vale? Simplemente. Mira, esto es para Isidor. Madre mía. Ay. ¿Vale? Este es para Isidor. Porque ha hecho una maravilla con bonita. Mira, esto es para Linda. Madre mía. ¿Vale? Qué fuerte. Por su rescate tan maravilloso. No, no, Linda es un crack. Sin Linda. Sin Linda, yo sé que no, siempre pero... decís que sin Linda no habría sin nada. Linda no habría nada. Entonces yo también me he querido acordar de Linda. No es nada, es un simple detalle. Pues es muchísimo, Elena. Ay, Elena, Elena bueno. y familia, muchísimas gracias, de verdad. Lo ha hecho ella todo. Muchísimas Esto gracias. Esto es para Alex. Oh, porque Alex es un camarada. Como no te deja ni tomar café, pues para que te lleves el café. <risa> pues, Mira, oh, estas son unas mermeladas que te echo yo caseras. <risa> Esto es un fuerte. mantelito, te echo un mantelito, Ma unos posabazos. Madre mía. Ya, ya. Las mermeladas muy buenas. Qué guay, qué pasada. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I bled from the wound for at least a year. I couldn't clean myself up. I reached out for the bottom rung. So, what a beautiful, beautiful family. I can't, I can't tell you. I mean, they treated us so nicely, like if we were just family. It was amazing. Bonita is gonna be so happy. She gets along with the dog in the home. She gets along with everybody in the house. I mean, that's a great, great, great adoption. And really, we just, we just couldn't be happier that she's there. So, guys, one more dog saved. Uh, 
Remember how she was when she arrived to the hospital? The two broken legs in that condition? Just have a look at her now. That's what we do. And without you, this wouldn't be possible. Please donate. Help me continue saving lives like Bonita. Please, if you can, join me on my support group on Patreon. Thank you. Dad, I hear you recording for the World Awareness Society. What is that? Yeah, you mean World Animal Awareness Society? Well, I'm a volunteer with the World Animal Awareness Society, Emerson. I volunteer my voice for use in animal rescue videos. And I don't know if you know this, but everyone at the World Animal Awareness Society is a volunteer. But what do they do? They're award-winning volunteer filmmakers who have interacted with 2,200 animal welfare nonprofits, including Maddie's Fund and Austin Pets Alive, providing information-rich content to more than 45 countries in the last 10 years. Dad, what's that mean? Okay, uh, how about this? They make short movies about animals that are in peril, that are hurting, you know, in bad shape or dying or homeless in the streets. They film rescuers doing heroic work so they can focus on saving lives. The World Animal Awareness Society posts the rescue videos on social media, and then they're broadcast on TV, sharing the heroic stories with people all over the world so they can understand what's really going on. Cool, I like animals. How did you start volunteering? Well, I met their director through social media and saw the work that they were doing and knew that I could help their cause. So I asked if I could volunteer. I am very fortunate to have really great jobs providing the voice to so many shows that I believe it's important to give back. Since I've been volunteering with the World Animal Awareness Society, they have created the seventh most influential YouTube channel for dog rescue lovers in the world, WA2S Films. That's so cool. Hey dad, nice job. Do you think I could volunteer too? You already are, Em. You already are. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. Yep, that'll do, Emerson. That'll do. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. <laughs>